Oh my gosh, this is the most frustrating problem in my car. Oh, there's my GoPro. So at some point within the last couple of months, the mechanism that stops the glove box here broke and now it just falls all the way open. I've been putting off fixing it, but this has gone on for long enough. So it looks like there's supposed to be little clips that stop this from falling open all the way, one on either side, and they're just not there. They must have broke and fallen somewhere in the depths. I'm doing this from this side so I can actually get a good angle. Calipers. 0 0.775 inches. Apologies for the noise, the door is open. I gotta go from the other side on this one. Oh, small car, small car problems. Actually, they're the same on both sides so I can measure this one from the outside. This is really difficult with one hand. 0 0.667 inches. 0 0.382 inches. So this, 0 0.925. Let's get it this way. One point seven oh eight inches. The thickness of the plastic, a little more. Basically 0 0.095 inches. Also gonna get some pictures to reference while I 3D model. Let's get some good shots. So I think ideally this stops right here, like all the way open, maximum access. And what I need to figure out is where is the stopper point on the clip? It looks like it's gonna be past the back. So I need to try to measure that somehow. Or maybe oh, it'll be easier on this side. I'll just poke my pencil in. Reference it off that. So it's about, it's about the length of the conical part of the pencil. I think that's what I'm gonna base it on. Is it half an inch? No, it's three quarters of an inch. All right, so I got all my measurements done. All right, Fusion 360. So I just made a 3D model of everything I measured in the car with the exact measurements. So if I design the clip around this model, it should fit in perfectly. So this is the point where I want to step away from the digital design because the fastest way to figure out if this thing works or if it needs to be changed is to make a prototype. Let's go test it. Alright, ah dang it, 
Why did I put everything back in there? All right, let's see. Goes on this way. Oh, it's in. All right, it's ugly, but it's in. Oh. So the clips work, they're super secure, everything clipped into place, but it looks like that little piece that catches isn't long enough and it can just slip right by. So I think all we need to do is make that a bit longer and we're pretty much good. I think I should also make this whole thing thicker so it's not as bendy and then probably double the length of the little tooth that grabs right there. We should be good. All right, let's go see if this works. All right, let's see if this thing works. I really gotta just leave everything out of here. There we go, beautiful. Woohoo, yeah! There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna put this one on the other side so that the nice side is facing up. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's go print another one. 4.30, almost running out of daylight. Gotta hurry. So I took a bunch of rags out of this bin and look who found a new spot. You are so cute. Hi. This time, it won't fall open. I, I was Perfect. Yes. This is so awesome. I'm so happy. Speaking of 3D printing, Think Bigger keychains are now available on my online store, available in both white on black and black on white. I 3D print each one of these myself, and I also sign each one. They come with one of these sweet Think Bigger holographic stickers. Look at that, so cool. If you want one of those, you can head on over to morleykurt.com shop. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.